It is a gloomy day in LA right now, but we're on our way to Dodger Stadium. I'm bringing my dad with me, and we're going to have VIP seats to watch Dodgers, actually Cardinals at Dodgers is the way you should put it. And all of the videos and photos that you're seeing in this video were taken on the LG G5 and the 360 cam. And here we are taking a look at the LG G5 once again. We've done a lot of extensive testing on the G5's cameras and you will be able to see some of the 100 crops so you can see what the quality is like. But this is a super sunny day. Well, cloudy at first, but it became sunny later on. So a lot of these pictures should look really nice. The main thing I wanted to showcase during this video is how fun the wide angle lens is. And with the front facing camera, you do get some pretty good quality, but that beauty mode is still pretty aggressive. From there, however, we are taking a look at Dodger Stadium through the eyes of the LG G5, but I'm also going to get my hands on the LG 360 cam so you can see some 360 shots as well. But the thing is, this video will not allow for 360 videos. You're going to have to take a look at another video on the YouTube channel, and the link will be available in the card and the description below. All right, here we are, finally. Right field, reserve level. It is the 360 cam, and there is Dodger Stadium in front of me. Now for the purposes of this particular video, as we're just taking a quick look at the LG 360 cam and the LG G5 at Dodger Stadium, you'll see that these spherical 180 degree videos are what you get when you take the footage straight from the SD card that is in the LG 360 cam. What you have to do is then process these videos by transferring them over to the phone and the software inside of the phone will make them actual 360 videos. It's a little bit tougher when you get it onto a computer if you don't do that step first, but we'll get more into that in the 360 cam video itself. Uh, I'm, gonna sh I'm gonna show you guys some spaces that are only exclusive to this tour. Hope you guys know what 42 means to the game. Uh, this is the Jackie Robinson jersey. Uh, if you don't know who he is, watch the movie 42. <laughs> So even though this video is basically using the LG G5 cameras as a sort of vlogging rig, we are still going to be showing you these pictures. And you already saw in the previous wide angle video that in the lower light shots, especially in this indoor area, it was already starting to suffer in terms of quality. But the thing is that wide angle lens is able to capture so much more than any conventional lens on any smartphone. And of course, we were able to get onto the field, which was an incredible, incredible moment. And yes, I will show you what this looks like from the 360 cam. This is what a 360 picture looks like before you even get control of it. Wow. So got that regular view, and then... Bam! <laughs> oh, wow. And with the view like that, I had to take the wide angle lens, turn the phone around, and take a picture. And it's able to capture so much that you don't have to worry about getting yourself into the shot, even if your arm might look a little bit weird. I want to put you in here is because this suite is owned by Tom Hanks. Oh. Uh, Tom Hanks has owned this suite for the past like 15 seasons. Tom Hanks. Uh, he's a huge baseball fan. Well, this won't be us today. I'm guessing if Tom Hanks was coming today, we would not be. We would have been a big so the LG 360 cam was proving to be a fun tool to get 360 video, but it's also pretty portable, especially since it comes with its own case. So I couldn't resist just having the camera set up and ready to take a lot of 360 video of where we were on the field level of the Dodger Stadium. But even though we got into our seats, there was something missing. So as is usually kind of customary in these videos, here are your foodie picks. This particular sandwich is captured quite well and the bun is actually very detailed. Of course, I use the wide angle lens for this particular shot just to give you a look at this nacho bowl that's in a Dodger hat. But if you do zoom into the actual chips themselves, you'll find that the color is pretty nice still. Done quite well, even if it's a little bit warm for this lower light situation, but things still look pretty crisp. <laughs> Uh, two Brooklyn Dodger dogs. Don't mess this up. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Yeah! <laughs> there you go. There you go. 
So it turned out to be a very fun game, even if the Dodgers lost. But it was at this Dodger game that I remembered how much fun the LG G5 is. Now the main camera does a great job already with good colors and really good detail, but it's that wide angle lens that really adds to the experience. Is its quality quite as good as the regular shooter? Not quite as much, especially in lower light situations, you're going to find that the wide angle lens is going to suffer a little bit more in lower light situations when compared to its more conventional counterparts. And obviously that is because it has a lot more to capture with less megapixels to do so. But that doesn't mean that it's not very fun to use. Yes, the warping in videos due to the optical image stabilization does seem a little bit off-putting at first, but when you turn that phone around and use that instead of the front-facing camera in order to get videos and even selfies for that matter, they provide a very unique look that really just adds a little bit more of that fun factor to videos, vlogs like this type, and of course, to pictures. And speaking of fun factor, that's really the best way to describe the LG 360 cam. Its videos still leave quite a bit to be desired, especially in terms of quality, but the reason why is because you're taking these two spherical images and stitching them together and then zooming very far into them in order to create the 360 image that can be controlled on YouTube and even Facebook. Editing the videos from the 360 cam requires you basically to move it over to the LG G5 first, which is a long process, and then you can put them into your video editing software of choice. That said, however, it's pretty easy to use, even if it is still pretty rudimentary, and that leads me to my main point about the LG 360 cam. It is definitely first stage. This is the first iteration of many of these 360 cameras, and we're excited to see where they go from here. A more comprehensive review of the LG 360 cam will probably come a little bit later, Later, but until then, you can enjoy the video that I put together of all of the 360 footage that I got with the 360 cam at a link that is available in the card over on the top or in the description below. So as always, thank you guys very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this feature focus on the LG G5's cameras and the LG 360 cam, which made an appearance in this video. And of course, you can see the 360 video in a link down in the description, like I just said. Keep it tuned to Android Authority for even more about the LG G5 and beyond because we are your source for all things Android.